Hello folks, how are you doing? Don Kelly here. Uh, just a quick vlog uh, to give you some information on how movement is medicine and how staying active and staying moving while you're in a period of pain or injury is very important. Now just let me start by saying uh, that if you are in serious pain or chronic pain and long-term pain, you always need to get it checked out, okay, before, before you... Uh, you know, go and get it, you know, go for physio or anything like that. You need to get it medically checked first. If the, definitely if the pain has been long term, if the pain is constant, if the pain is waking you from your sleep, uh, if your appetite has been affected or whatever. So if it's a, a severe pain, always go and get it medically checked first, okay? But generally, most pain is fairly, is fairly, innocuous and it's usually caused by just muscle or ligament injury in general okay it's not always but most cases it's nothing serious it's just an imbalance within the body but either way the most important thing you should do is when you are in pain is to stay active and stay active within the pain threshold so what i'm saying is if you have been in if you suffer with conditions like arthritis, fibromyalgia, uh, you know, myofascial pain, anything like that, muscle injury, uh, sports injury, you know, and it's been long term, you need to get moving, you need to stay active, okay, because, you know, if you don't stay active, the muscles will get weak and the condition will deteriorate and you will get worse and worse. So, I always tell everyone movement is medicine medicine so stay moving stay active and some good ways of doing it is aqua therapy is possibly the best get into the swimming pool and just walk up and down that pool a little bit of swimming walking front ways back ways sideways movement get into the pool okay it's very good it's non weight bearing and it will not overload the joints and uh it's very good for uh, any chronic pain conditions no matter what it is okay cycling is also very good again whether it's a stationary bike or a, a bike that you take out on the road get moving you know move the legs ideally sit tall on the bike don't be leaning forward sit tall and uh, do some cycling on the bike so and go for walks three simple things you can do so if you go for walks do cycling and uh, aqua therapy and swimming all these are very good uh, for uh, helping you with any chronic pain issue or condition now it is very important that if the if you're doing the activity and it's starting to aggravate or increase the pain you need to uh, slow down and stop, okay? So if the pain gets really bad, you stop, you have enough exercise done, you have enough uh, of that particular uh, modality done, you do not want to be aggravating the pain as you're moving. So you kind of judge it as you go. Mild discomfort is okay, you know, strain or whatever, but if the pain starts getting more and more severe, you gotta stop, uh, don't do it, you know, don't, push through that pain threshold because all you're doing is uh, aggravating and making it worse okay other modalities then for for uh, any chronic pain is heat and ice are very good and uh stretching yoga all those are very good but always get them done through a through a, a professional who will show you the right particular exercises and stretches that uh you know provided that it's not uh, uh, causing more problems than good okay because certain exercises will alleviate back pain and certain exercises can uh, aggravate back pain so it's important that you get it checked out by uh, a professional somebody who's well qualified to uh, diagnose and give you a, a good exercise yoga stretching strengthening exercise regime to help you with any chronic pain but at the end of it all, folks, the, the, what I'm trying to say here is if you have chronic pain, the worst thing you can do is just lay down in bed and do nothing or lie on the couch and do nothing. Get active, get moving, uh, get your mindset right, believe that you will get better and uh, have uh, confidence in your own 
body's ability to heal itself and uh, just get active and get moving. And if you do all that, you will give yourself a better opportunity of healing quicker. So it's all about movement. Movement is self-healing. Movement is medicine. So get out there, get moving, be it swimming, be it cycling, be it walking, be it yoga, be it Pilates, whatever the case may be, get out there and start and start now and start slowly and gradually build yourself up into it. Okay. Right. I hope guys, a little bit of information there. If you any queries, please drop me a line, send me an email. I will always get back to you. And if uh, you need anything, don't hesitate to give me a call. So we'll talk to you all soon. Uh, have a great Wednesday, everyone. And we'll talk to you during the week. God bless.